So as a part of my deep dive into figuring out how to balance hormones, um, I also found magnesium. So in my last video, I talked a little about um, Gemnema sylvestra. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about magnesium. Magnesium helps not only in helping with your insulin um, spikes and things like that, that can also throw off your, um, your acne, but it also balances our hormones. So the Gemnema sylvestra doesn't really do a whole lot with balancing the hormones. It's, it's mostly for just keeping that insulin from spiking, keeping you from craving those sugary sweets so you can just kick them and get get off of it completely. Um, now with the Gemnema sylvestra, and I only say this from my time when I was vegan, I do think that there will come a time where you could train yourself to get off of it altogether, like maybe take it for a couple months and then stop because when I was vegan, I just, I didn't have, I wasn't taking anything like that, but I just wasn't having the sugar cravings because it's like my, um, my taste buds were rewired. And so things that usually would not satisfy me, like, you know, eating fruit, uh, you know, low sugar fruit, you know, so not like crazy, like mangoes have like the most sugar, but even just eating low sugar fruit or stuff like that, like that was enough. Like I was satisfied. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I need candy or I need brownies or it, it was just enough. Or um, I know I always hated uh, that maple syrup, like real maple syrup from Canada, like the expensive stuff. I was like, oh, this isn't syrup. Like I always wanted like the fake stuff, like the butter tasting Aunt Jemima stuff. And even when I was, you know, vegan, my taste buds were rewired so much that like that was enough for me, like just plain, organic, natural maple syrup, which before I was just like, Ugh, this isn't doing it. So I do think with the other stuff, you could actually get off of it and just not have your cravings anymore. Um, obviously take it for a couple months. With magnesium, it's looking like, of course I need to do some more research into it. I'm just sharing it with you guys because I'm about to add it to my um, my daily intake of supplements this week. And so there's lots that magnesium does for your skin, not just your acne, but like the skin all over your body. And so we'll get into a little bit of that, but mostly we're just gonna be talking about what it does for your hormones. And so this can help you with, um, you know, keeping your periods regular, also not having so many like really, really bad symptoms. Like um, if you notice that you're bloating a lot and you're having huge blood clots or you have painful cramping and things like that and you're just bleeding for days on end, usually that's because when we get a period, our testosterone levels go really, really Really high like they're out of balance and so if we can balance our hormones after a couple periods usually like two to three periods you'll notice that all of that will subside you will not have those awful um, I don't want to say side effects but uh, premenstrual side effects I don't know but you won't have all those issues and so um, not only can it help you with your acne but it can help you just like feeling like a normal person and uh, not having like womanly issues once every month and also it may help with like shortening the period I know it'll help with the severity of it but we'll see like I said I need to actually take it so magnesium is just an alkaline macro mineral it is a key ingredient to overall bodily health especially in bone health and muscle strength it doesn't get much airtime as vitamin c and it isn't as trendy as probiotics but concerning how important it is for our health it should so a lot of people use magnesium, you probably saw this, use it topically as well as internally for allowing their muscles like to recoup, obviously not to feel as sore and kind of crampy, you know, after you've had like a really, really, really good workout. So, so this could be something that could help you work out longer and go harder and obviously get even more results because you're not so, I'm tired, my muscles are sore, or you know, some days like you're supposed to work out but you're still so sore from working out the other day that you just wanna skip it all together. So magnesium is really, really helpful externally as well as internally, but mostly we're focusing on taking it internally so we get all of the benefits. Uh, so there's a lot of people right now, they're talking about the UK population, but they're saying 70 to 80% are def deficient in magnesium levels. Um, I think it was in a different, I don't know if it was this article, but it was in a different article that I, I read about what it means when you're like deficient in magnesium, like how your body will feel. And a lot of what I was reading, I was just like, holy crap, that sounds like me. <laughs> so I'll try to see if I can find it. But some cool stuff. Like around 50% of the mineral you take in goes straight to the skeletal system, upping the strength and resilience of your framework. I think in another video I talked to you guys a little bit about what causes people to age and it's usually because we're losing our bone density as we get older and so that's why people need to start taking injections and having the Botox and the fillers like to get that plumpness and so um, half of it is because 
you know, we're losing that bone density and so things are kind of uh, sinking in, getting a little saggy. Um, so taking something like magnesium, this is also, I'm already just connecting the dots, like this is also going to help you even if you do not have good, let's say genetics with like the people in your family being like 40 or into their 50s and still looking like 10 years younger. Even if you don't have those genetics, this will help you to maintain your bone health, um, you know, longer, have it stronger. And obviously you'll be someone who will, you know, age beautifully because not everyone just has great genetics where everyone in their family ages really nicely. So here it just talks about how magnesium helps people um, with with, uh, sleeping deeper and more restful. When I was over uh, reading some reviews on Amazon of magnesium, a lot of people said that um, they're they went to like a sleep therapist and they're also recommending taking magnesium because it helps you to be in REM sleep longer and so that's like the sleep where you're completely relaxed you're resting and you're having dreams and a couple of other people um just in the reviews like i had also said i'm having more dreams and you know it seems to be working i'm staying asleep longer and so not only is this supposed to help you with um you know having your muscles not be as sore after working out but also allowing you to recharge at night every night and get better sleep and here they're just talking about it soothes cramps headaches indigestion constipation and insomnia some of the magnesium um when it comes to indigestion and constipation um it does if you take too much of it it will act as a la laxative like that's what some people in the reviews were saying like it gives me crazy gas but some other people like um there is a pregnant woman who she was saying usually she drinks coffee every day to help her to stay regular but now that she's pregnant she doesn't want to be taking in all that caffeine and so she's been you know crazily constipated but since she started taking magnesium she's able to have a bowel movement every single day and things are flowing nicely you guys know when we're not having enough bowel movements basically all of the toxic crap just in our waist it like it starts to seep back into our blood so it's funny how our liver and our kidneys and all of that will like do a great job of pulling all the toxic stuff out and then try to put into our waste but it's like if our waste is not completely flushed out of our system over time all of that toxic crap um, basically just seeps right back into our blood system and it's just it's really gross and that is why they said when you're taking glutathione make sure that you are regular or that you're doing enemas or something because the the glutathione won't work because the glutathione is going to have to worry about all the toxic crap that's in your blood from you not moving out all this waste so like the glutathione isn't going to completely be absorbed and stored because like that's what we want when we're trying to um, change our skin we need it to be stored not just used up and so if you feel like um you know you're going like a day and a half or something like that where you're not having these bowel movements or you feel like you're having like a kind of smaller bowel movements where you know that there's probably more waste in there but it's just like not all coming out i you know highly suggest either start doing enemas do regular distilled water enemas or you can do a coffee enema or you can take something like magnesium and to help flush your system out so your um, glutathione won't be being used up with all the toxic crap that's in your waist um, well that's just in your body but yeah it all starts there so when you're lacking magnesium in your diet the levels of fatty acid on the surface of the skin and collagen which keeps things bouncy and moisturized will decrease your face will end up drier uneven in tone and prone to wrinkles magnesium in another um, article that i had read did say that it is really helpful for people who have hyperpigmentation and helping you have all even one color all over your body so that's like i was really interested but also taking it will help you with your collagen levels which i'm already I'm supplementing collagen every single day but um, it's just nice to know that this is going to work hand in hand with a lot of the other supplements that i'm already taking so magnesium can help to protect your skin from external damage as it regulates cellular regeneration and repair increasing the recovery when the skin is disturbed and strengthen it when it's under attack um to me this sounds like they're hinting at it's going to help increase your cell turnover i could be wrong <laughs> If acne is your issue, using topical products can sometimes aggravate and worsen things. Working on the cause of hormonal acne, magnesium could be a game changer for those suffering from skin issues. It lowers cortisol production, thereby potentially reducing acne by stabilizing hormonal imbalances in the body. Um, one of the main websites that I went to get all of this good information about helping to balance out hormones for people who have hormonal imbalances was that not only does it help to balance out your estrogen levels, but also your progesterone, which progesterone is, I think a lot of people have lower levels. 
and that's why they're not able to balance out that testosterone that our body is naturally making of course our levels of testosterone are like so much lower than a man's but it helps to balance out that and the estrogen because even if you have too much estrogen this can cause issues if you have too much testosterone which is what happens when we're about to start a period and that's why people start to break out it's that testosterone spike it's like either or can screw up your skin. It's um, really funny how that happens. And then of course you have issues of irritability and depression. Magnesium is also recommended for people who have um, just feelings of just, you just feel sad for like no reason or your mood swings are crazy. You have unbalanced moods. Um, so this is just kind of like one of those sounds like a miracle supplement to me um thankfully it is pretty cheap so like you can buy this in bulk and then just have it for like six months to a year like a whole tub of it um so that's why i'm so excited about it but there is a, a specific type of magnesium to take that is the best for if you're worried about your acne and so i'm pretty sure it's the magnesium citrate i gotta check my um my amazon because i have it um there yeah so it's the magnesium citrate and uh, with this for some people you're only gonna be able to take one for others you can take two um, like I said one of the side effects is it will make people have gas because it's gonna make you go to the bathroom <laughs> so some people were like well I take this at night and then others are just like you know it doesn't really affect them like that so it just depends i guess you'll see what person you are but um it's just a part of like the detox that happens and um which is really really good because it's gonna allow us to absorb all of our other supplements better so i don't necessarily think that this is something you should be worried about so there are foods that actually have magnesium in them um sunflower seeds nuts legumes legumes are just beans um spinach bananas squash um you should probably just stay away from milk altogether unless it's like um, an oat milk or something or an almond milk. Um, they're saying to do dark chocolate, but not everyone likes to taste of dark chocolate. Um, look for magnesium citrate, which taken orally absorbs faster and more effectively. Um, try adding some into your daily diet and watch your skin beam with happiness. They have some like really, really large jars of like the powdered magnesium that you could just buy it in bulk and then just like forget about it. Um, or I'm, I'm just gonna try the pills first and then I'm gonna see how that works and then after I run out of that I'll go ahead and I'll switch over to like a tub um, But I just really wanted to share that with you guys because I just found it to be very very interesting there are some more uh, Spiritual aspects to taking magnesium um, when it comes to like your vibration and um, manifesting things but um, I'll probably just go into that on my other channel. Um, so just know that there are multiple benefits of using this. It's not just about what's what your people are gonna see like physically. It's um, it can affect our um, our internal vibration. So 